The Director General of the IAEA has been at the United Nations General Assembly in New York this week, advancing the agency's mission to use atoms for peace and development. An intense three-day-long visit to the General Assembly of the United Nations uh, come to an end uh, for me and for the IAEA with an agenda that is as diverse and rich as the work of the agency. We have been having key, crucial meetings with regards to the safety and the security of the Saporizia nuclear power plant. We have been discussing uh, the situation around the nuclear program Islamic Republic of Iran. But also, and importantly, we have been signing agreements and taking concrete steps to enlarge the work of the IEA in nuclear medicine, in food security, and in many other important matters that have to do with the Sustainable Development Goals. The Director General met with multiple international leaders to discuss ways to continue to improve international coordination in the nuclear field. Rafael Mariano Grossi answered many questions for media covering the UNGA, particularly related to the ongoing conflict in Ukraine. Every day is a challenge for us. I think so far we have seen a certain improvement, but the situation continues to be extremely fragile in Saporizhia, as you know. Safeguards issues with Iran were also high on the press agenda. You know, the, the way to dispel uh, any doubts is to allow the IEA to inspect. If they allow us to work, then there will be confidence. Otherwise, it will be very complicated. The work of the agency continues. Now it was the time to do it and to bring the message to New York. And the IEA does not stop for a single minute.